Welcome back, everybody. Before you pack up your next donation to the local food pantry, take a closer look at what you're giving. One food pantry teamed up with a team of nutritionists to see if people can be persuaded to give healthier options. They count themselves lucky at the food pantry of Waukesha County, where the shelves are stocked high with a wide variety of fresh foods. There's always the fear that you're not doing the right thing. So executive director Karen Treadwell was a little skittish when a team of nutritionists asked to take a look around. Overall, a number of the foods that they're offering were low in fiber, so not a lot of whole grains. Lisa Stark is one of the nutritionists who spent seven months studying what comes into the food bank and looking for ways to convince food donors to give more healthful options. While she was generally pleased, Stark found room for improvement. If we're wanting to prevent diseases in people who rely on pantries, we'd like to do just a little, a little better. Together, the food pantry and nutritionists have launched a new program called Healthy Shelves, getting the word out before holiday food drives that pantries' needs have changed. Out of the basket are things like salty, cream-based canned soups, in our low-sodium vegetable soups, out sugary breakfast cereals, in cereals made with whole grain like oatmeal, also out boxes of pre-packaged mac and cheese, in whole grain and gluten-free pastas. Of course, not every food that gets donated to a, a pantry needs to be a healthy food option, but we need many more foods to put them together. To put them together. Another component is teaching the clients of food pantries to make healthier choices at home, sending them out the door with tips and recipes in addition to more healthful ingredients. We all like to have a little convenience once in a while, but there's also that family culture of wanting to sit down together to a home-cooked meal. Which is another way of feeling nourished by home-cooked, healthy food, thanks to the generosity of complete strangers. The National Kidney Foundation, also a fan of this program because cutting out all those high-sodium canned goods goes a long way in the fight against high blood pressure.